It depends on what Bulldog's hero is. Remaining. Yeah. Anti mage. Or they do or... Bulldog Slardar and they pick an anti mage. Okay. I'm trying for something. He's gonna be very, very. He's uh, not six on Spectre. He needs yeah. like one or two more creeps. Oh, okay. They try for the, the bounty room still. And now Jarrett's rolling and they want to try and punish the man. Post dive under the horn for as well. They'll find it. Now looking towards S4 as well. And Liquid may be able to turn this one kill into a two kill. There'll be TP reactions coming through. Can they finish off S4? No. Turns around, get the dragon kill. The turn for the Bulldog onto the turbo man. But it doesn't matter. S4 will be safe, but Bulldog will pay with his life. A double kill for Varta here on the Death Prophet. And that is the kind of Liquid that we expect to see just grouping up, ready to go. No, not so. Yeah, anti mage. So they still clean up good game. Well, S4, he has been caught out. There's the relocate you're talking about. Bringing them straight in on top of the Dragon Knight. He's gone down. Put in the Batman's who's trying to fight up. Ake in a bit of trouble as well. He'll dive himself away. Bulldog. He's going to be chased now by the horse. Jared throws in a hole. Crush and Bulldog beat down onto the Earth Spirit. He is not having any of that, the dog. It's up, Spectre. Bulldog and Loader. They want to try and go for this one, but to a man, he's got the Aegis. Can they pop it down? The Radiant's missed chance actually helping out a bit there. Radiant. One more touch. Oh, no. I was not going to let it happen. You all set to come through with the Silas. Loader, he could be in trouble. And if they can get this kill, this is the kill they need. Liquid, take down the anti mage The rest of Alliance on the retreat, but with the Horn, they're ready to chase down for more. But to a man, and now Fada coming in with the help of Baroque. He's relocating. Ake's down as well. A second kill for Liquid. So much more lockdown, all these low cooldown stuns, from Slippin' and Crush, and Dragon's Tail as the fight goes on and on, heroes are just continuously gonna die for the set of stuns. The Corbin Super Man here, they'll definitely be able to take him down once. The question is, can they do it a second time? Liquid, I'm gonna come in across, and then look to try and help out the man. S4 signs, but he pops the BKB, looking to take down the Man. It's a lovely supernova as well on the back lines coming through. Loaded jumps forward, trying to take down the Man. The Yule Scepter holding back Loader, they'll still get the kill on the spread. They're farther going down as well, Alliance. Doing it here in this fight, taking down the two cores of Liquid, not being punished at all. And then potentially a fight on the, onto a push, but Liquid, they're coming back round towards the pit. They know that the time has got to be soon. They know that they're going to need to contest this one. And Jarex so leading with a kick, not going to connect. And now immediately, the rebuttal from Echo jumps into the Sons of Fire. Supernova in the middle of the fight as Loda jumps in with a BKB. Looking to chop down on the Death Rocket. She reels herself up. Can they finish her up, Fada? Or is he going to kill you? No, oh, he's gone. The Mana Boy from Loda blows him up. They have lost to an alliance, though. It's Liquid. Run by Bamba Timmerman. Did quite a bit with the Radiance. The buybacks are coming out. Bulldog and Fada trying to get themselves back into the fight. S4 holding Jarex back. And now Loader turning up. He's looking to secure this one for the team. He needs a bit of help. He hasn't got the control. Matuma Man's out of mana. Bulldog's there looking for an opening. We'll see where he's able to get the jump. Crush in. He doesn't even need the jump. Matuma Man walks into him. The wall dropped out from Mike Control. Bulldog and Loader trying to finish off Matuma Man. Matuma Man's down. Can Loader do it? Can he find Mike Control as well? They will get it. The lights and still looking for more. We'll see who's ready to commit first and what. They're back into the pit lines and they are finishing off Roshan. Liquid need to make a play rather quickly. As Alliance fell. Ooh, not at the end, they'll get it. Ready to kill the Roshan. Aegis on the ground. Matula Man stands in the east, taking the Aegis. Going to pop the BKB. Time to put us back. The door kills at the moment. Alliance needs to run out, but he's got the Aegis. So it doesn't matter. They need to kill someone else. They'll loot for fun. But they jump in for the Brody. Keep the DB alive. The wall's got down and loaded. He's gone as well as S4. Liquid taking two. They'll get a third as well as Ake falls. And off the back of that, I mean, they may have killed the Roshan. But Matuma Man snatching the Aegis, Liquid finding three kills. It may not end even then as EGM gets taken down as well. And just like that, Liquid. Oh my goodness, it's going to be a full, a full team wipe for Liquid. Oh, we knew the Roshan attempt was going to be a rocky one, but my goodness, Alliance just got trash there. This is a classic hit. Well, I say it's the load of bait. In fact, the rest of Alliance, they, they were heading north. They need to head down and help this man. Load across the BKB straight away. Alliance, if they can get themselves around onto this fight, they could find something on the back of it. Load is going to jump on to Fada. But to the man with the horn, Link to fight the backliners. But it's right, the backliners are liquid dropping. Kuroki is going to lose his life. Fada is the exit. No, he's not using the exit. He's about to get to the side, but to try and burst down onto Loader. But they've already lost one. They're going to lose a second liquid. Each of them will return a two for two. Mana Boy comes down from Loader. That is a three for three trade. An incredible even fight at the moment. Ake tries to TP away, but the Yule Scepter is there to cancel it as Liquid find themselves a four, a triple kill from a Tumor Man in particular. Oh, at the least just keep it pressured in so they have got control of this portion of the map around the Roshan. 
just saw ping come out from Loda on Roshan. They, knew, they know they need more. Yeah. yeah, Liquid, they're ready to go. Matsumaman once again, and eyes on to Bulldog, the man without a BKB, and he's gone for a full minute. Now the question is, can Liquid find anything more? Matsumaman jumping into the Horn Illusion, seeing if he can follow this one through. fighter has got the Exorcism up, so the least they'll be ready to push it. Matsumaman cleaning up EGM as well. To stop this, you can see Loda trying to poke Radiant's his nose in Antwon. Well, he will. He'll jump straight in onto Matuma Man. Can they kill this Spectre here? Radiant's he's got a heart, he's got a fair bit of evasion, and they just cannot do it. Mana voids out, it's not nearly enough, and with Kuroki backing Radiant's up the spec, Liquid are able to finish off the full set of racks on the bottom lane. And at this point, Alliance are just arranged racks away from being Mega Creep slash Four Wood Sign jump in. Loda's there as well. Can they kill Master? The vacuum, the walls down, and Force gone. Loda looking towards Mind Control. Can he even kill the Dark Gear? No, he can't. And Loda gets punished as well. There'll be a fight back this time for the Anti Mage. But at this point, Liquid just rolling over Alliance unless Loda can do something miraculous here. Drops the Abyssal. He's going to look towards Jarek. Can he finish off the Earthquake? No, he can't. They're just toying with him, playing with him. EGM will finally manage to close through, but he himself gets beat down upon by Liquid. And now, just Loda left alive. He's got a lot of heavy lifting to do, and I don't think he can do it against this Spectre. Matumba Man does not care at all about this dance he made. In fact, he's just going to straight up ignore Loda and just hit away at the racks. Loda pops the BKB. It's but Matuma Man doesn't care, Barda doesn't care as well. So they're trying to beat down a fly. Try to get off him. Stop it. Stop it, please. Go away. Thank you. Goodbye, Loda. And with that, two minutes on the clock for Loda. It's GG. That was just amazing. Yeah. I think Alliance, Liquid. They, they Damn. brought a pretty good fight against Liquid. I think this game would have would have been a lot different if they drafted a lineup that they wanted to actually fight with, but yeah. they, they just, the, like, a Slardar with a super late blink and anti mage forced to fight before 25, it just didn't really hit uh, on all cylinders for them, but it was, it was pretty decent. Just try looking at this, like, are we sure, you, go you know, for, I, I don't know, I just prefer the, the puck more. Yeah. I just prefer the okay. puck. Yeah. They were just... We'll start this time at the other end oh, of the... Members of Liquid down here, again, just trying to do the best they can Radiant's to provide down. that support to the man. He's looking for the... Cut of the uh, the Rune Snipe is going to happen. S4 though, Magic Missile. Let's be careful. Back up from Ake. Turns around with the Sonic Weapon. A hole with the old as well for Bordeaux. Alliance, they'll find one at S4. <laughs> Can he do it? One more dodge and the dagger will find it. Double kill for S4. Fantastic Sonic Wave backed up by a almost anyone on Liquid's lineup. Yeah, certainly, and Liquid, they're looking to they're looking to bully. I mean, they're smoked up, they've got the life to the inside part, and straight onto Loader. Loader, not a chance here, as they rip through the Slardar. Liquid, can they look for something else here? Mind Control, jumping forward, EGM will be quick with the Telekinesis, holding him back, Jerex and Matumaman still there, and Jerex, he's diving in for this one. He's looking to play around with the Rubik on the sidelines. The sign is up, S4, the Magic Missile is one, S4's gone now, the Dream Call dropped, that guy's in trouble. Look at the Grave Moment time, the Triumph is super on the sidelines, EGM starting to stop away from him, but Mind Control, the back back, they've found a third, they're gonna get themselves a fourth as well, as Fighter jumps in, finishes off the Rubik. And in with the Dream Call, the Silas as well, catching out Ake and Loader. And he used the follow up as well from the sideline supernova. The back is going on to three. He's yet scored. It will lost that game. One of them is chasing down Loader. Liquid to find a third. Bulldog will be lucky to TP himself out. S4 blinking up to north. They won't be able to catch out the quap. But again, Alliance. So I guess a little bit better than just a four star. But on well, Liquid. Smoking up. Nice on to Bulldog and uh, the lead coming forward. Can they save this man? Aki is there. Dream Cole will be laid down. The Shallow Grave coming out. Maybe they can turn it. Mind Control comes into the vacuum wall. They've lost EGM. Sonic Wave flies through from Swap, but it doesn't matter. But Tumor Man's there on the front line. Chomping, chasing them down. Swap back in as well. Bringing Loader into the middle of Liquid, and they'll find a four. Triple kill for the Tumor Man. He's going to be looking for the opening. And so far, to... in goes Matumba Man. They're ready for a jump themselves. Alliance still on the high ground. And the terror comes through. They've got the vision in. Alliance comes in. Gets the silence one to two. And now, bursting in with the lunch as well. Ake's got him down the fight. S4 will lose the edge. And it's super at the moment. Will get taken down. But at the same time, Alliance, they're losing heroes heavily. Larger than Loader will get himself away. But swap back in. The blink's there in time. Loader continuing to be chased down. So where he finds the magic missile. And Jarek's now with a double kill. Let's see if they find themselves anything else. S4 looking to finish up fun. And they will get the puck in return. That's a big kill. Fun is down for a full 70 seconds. 
One control chasing out EGM. The Tumut Man will come over Radiant's to join him. They'll surge him in, force attack. him forward. And uh, EGM, he plays way out of this one. It's not going to be the case. But they will find themselves another. We'll see if they jump onto him. Alliance will be there with a follow through. S4 coming across, but now the smoke's going to dispel on the rest. And Loader and EGM know that something's up there. Coming around to the sidelines, hunting desperately to see if they can find. Loader jumps into the pit. No one's going to be there for the time being, but now from the high ground with the supernova. S4's going to jump up on the BKB. They're looking to try and take down the Phoenix. Can he get it? They will. They'll take it down, but they have lost EGM. This could be the fight that will for this for the sidelines. Gunny keeps being pulled by control. It's not going to be enough. He's down as well. They will time walk themselves away from this push the man. Looking to try and clean up, but he's been crushed. Now, but S4 sitting there on the sidelines, he's going to jump across, see if he can catch any of the backliners, but Tumba Man is really ripping through the side of the line, so it's a 3 for 2 at the moment, he's been sprouted up, can they find this kill, he'll be a big one, the arm bit toggling, he's going to go for the deny, no, he's just going to get himself in, in fact, he's just going to scare Alliance back to the base, off you go, boys, in fact, I'll turn and kill you, Hurricane Pike Knight from Bulldog, what, creating the space, but Tumba Man, he's not RTZ, he chops through the sprout here, continues to chase, he won't find Bulldog, S4, he's got a blink, he's just kind of baiting, he's just kind of playing. But as we're seeing with Tumor Man, he's uh, almost like Liquid. Radiant Don't do anything with this, not fun. Moving forward, and easy jumping in onto Border. They get the heads up now with Tumor Man, look for the lockdown. But now he's going to be careful, because Lockpot's going to be getting the crush. The Sonic went flying through the back of the net, but Tumor Man, he's gone. They're going to lose the life stealer. Now the Supernova is still going to be successful. Radiant's a double kill for Bulldog. They jumped in on the man, but Hitty, he smacks back at them. And on the sidelines, Loader catches out Kuroki. And potentially even just one good fight. Okay, with the smoke up though, they found Matuma Man. He does have an Aegis. We'll see if they can uh, actually save him a second time round. You can see the side of Liquid trying to come in. Jared's on the high ground though, he's been caught out Bulldog. He was just standing there ready for the backup. Kuroki getting beat down upon. They'll look for the supernova from the sideline, but Bulldog, he just turns to take it down and with Loda, they'll find it. A second kill for the side of the line. And now, I back onto Matumba Man. He's gonna try and get himself out of this one, but Edward jumps in. Double kill for the Queen of Pain. They've only got two left in the fight here on the side of Liquid. And Loda catches out mind control with the crush. A fourth set on Liquid. And Alliance once again hitting incredibly hard into the side. There'll be a buyback from Mind Control. As Alliance looking to clean up the base of Liquid. 10 seconds until they have four Radiant members back, but even if that is down, oh, okay, two minutes. With the back, on the loader and four, but moving with the BKB, they'll turn around and Mind Control's dead. They'll find one, and now Kuroki, can he get himself out of this one? No, doesn't look like he can. S4 jumps, he takes him down, it's a monster kill streak here for S4 on the clock. Subway, is it going to be enough to win this game? It will be enough to kill the Queen of Pain. Oh, but look at all of he just sits there, smashing through the faces of Liquid. Loader with the crush, it's going to be a killing streak for the Slada. Four dead on Liquid, but two more will be back up but they're losing their final set Radiant's of racks down here can Jerex and Matsuma Man really do anything against this lineup they're going to try and do so this is it no they're not even going to try GG is caught and Alliance are taking this to a game three with what was just a huge step up in performance in game one in a very far triple four coming out from Alliance and Bulldog farming up spectacularly they have to be pretty happy about that draft, and I think they made great adjustments from game number one to game number two. They're Focusing really good. more on taking it slowly. You could and... actually fix that issue that you're worried about the campus. Wow. Oh, oh, what a first lasso, and a lot of the momentum has been slowed down because of that. EGM getting harassed by Wolves. Yeah, and here he comes for Tumba Man looking to move in for the kill. One shot there to the silence, so ripping him apart, and now moving on to Ake as well. Bulldog will be there to try and buy some space. Bulldog, he's falling low, the Wolves just end up munching on him as well. It's going to be a second and a third now with a sonic wave from Fada. Now looking towards Loda, he's got an off set, but this time, Jax, he's not missing his stuns. A fourth kill for Liquid. Phoenix. So much fun. And a little bit more. They're going to stun out to S4. Moving forward as well. S4 being held alive by the Sun Ray. He's going to be fine as well for the time being. Backs off and now Fada. In on the front line. The back line. There's a beautiful supernova and Liquid. They can't take it out. They've got to get themselves away. Actually, to the they will. They will finally be able to take down the supernova. So the double kill for Matumba Man. Blink and Hex the silencer in the fight and they don't have that global available to them. 
could be in a Smoke really time. Rough oh, it's been dispelled though. They know someone's there. It is Kuroki. So at the least they can try for an attempt on a kill and now nah, they're probably on this Loader not messing it. They find themselves another Bada. It has been caught out by the lasso. Can they finish off the court? No, they can't. And now uh, we're gonna see a buyback from Kuroki wanting to get back in and help out the team. Two dead now in a life. He's gonna be a third of a cover man chases down and Bulldog up to the north, taken down as well. A four kill again for Liquid. Hoping that someone gets careless like a Nyx assassin and runs into them. Meanwhile, I mean, the Nyx assassin, he's top, and with the help of Father, he is killing S4. I mean, I'm gonna try and capitalize that. I mean, yeah, Grokey, they've shown him a couple of times. They might be able to show him again. No, oh yeah, okay. Well done, guys, kill Kuroki. The Kuroki hate is real here from Alliance. Now, Alliance, they will be punished for this by those of it. They'll pop the supernova. Jero's gonna come in, but Mal actually gonna be able to kill this X with this. It's gonna be nice in the sense that they may kill off the Nyx Assassin. No, there's your spike carapace. JK, Jero survives. AK won't enough, but it jumps back in. And with Matumba Man, they end up cleaning up the rest of them on this top lane. This is pretty much how we expected the match to In terms of kind of tournaments before this one, the way that they could be playing now. EGM, he's gonna be told to shut up himself. He's not showing up anyone for the next 30 seconds, dying with the ultimate available. And at this point, Liquid just outclassing Alliance by a country mile. I mean, is this... What, what, how far is this down to execution, or how far is this down to draft in your eyes? A lot of it is giving Liquid Lycan. Yep. They've played amazingly well around the Lycan this game, as opposed to the Life Sealer in the prior game. And this is kind of, this is more what I expected. They felt a lot more confident. I guess a lot of it is because they didn't have good vision in the first two games, but this game, they have a lot of scouting with the Wolves. Maybe this is the turnaround, Ben. Global Silence coming through. Loader looking to Matuma Man. They'll take him down, but he's got an Aegis. EGM on the sidelines being chased, and the silence is gone. Can they kill this man? Let's see. Let's go. Go on, him. Up, up. He'll turn around and he'll hit you. The Hex on West 4. Loaded with the Blade Fury. Trying to look for Matuma Man. Oh, the back of the Jungle Wall gets dropped down. On his three dead, four dead. Only S4 surviving. He gets chased down as well. He can't omelet toggle his way out from this one. And Alliance all hitting the deck. Liquid, absolutely brutal this game. Incre that absolutely just no mercy, no chill here from the boys. That GG is cool. I mean, Team Liquid, this match, this was, uh, as you said, I mean, like it. 100% win rate. It stays that way. I don't think you let Liquid have the life. Unless you've got a great plan. And uh, the plan just didn't come into place there for Alliance. Running away from this squad, he's vendetta up still. Kuroki going to town with the Matthews, Ohio. No Doom, as we talked about. There's going to be another rocket. To do some damage to nothing much, to stop him in track. Fall down, trying to push them back. A first dive forward, Supernova not going off. Good next up to the Matthews. Thank you, Mind Control should still have his. Bot to pop, the BKB and Tail misses. Perfectly timed for Bot to go for that BKB, and they will back together as a team. A lot of push being played, but there it comes back. The Supernova gets off perfectly timed. He's still in a bad position, they might counter-engage him with Liquid ready to go.